I want to show you guys how to calculate miters so that you can actually cut them on a miter saw. Miter saw tables are inverse to how we normally read miters on a gauge. So in this example, I have 88 degrees here on my digital angle finder. This is going to be fairly common in a home that looks like it should have right angles. Now the common misconception is to take 88, divide it by two, and then make two cuts at 44 degrees. So if I take my material over and I set the saw to 44 degrees and I make two cuts, when I bring them in here, this is what's going to happen. Both of these have been cut to 44 degrees and I have a very bad gap in the back back there. Here's what I want you to do instead. I want you to start with 180. Subtract the number that you found, divide that number by two. Set your saw to whatever that number is and you will have a perfect miter. These two cuts were cut at 46 degrees on my saw and that's the end result. Now to show you guys how this works as simple as possible, let's go up to 90 degrees. Let's go 180, subtract 90 and divide that by two. 45. And as we all know, two 45s equals a 90. Now this works for any number. Let's go up a little bit. Let's just say that that's 97. 180 minus 97 equals divided by two. I would set my saw to 41.5, make two cuts, I'd have a perfect miter. We can keep going with this. Here's 112.8. I'm going to round that up to 113. I have 180 minus 113, I divide that by two. I would set my saw to 33.5, make two cuts, and I would have a perfect miter. Now, one of the things often toted by professionals is that this only works from 90 and above, so obtuse angles, which we've already proved wrong because it works at 88. In fact, we'll do it again if we bring this down here and we'll say that I have a 85 degree corner. Okay, 180 minus 85, equals divided by two. I would set my saw to 47.5. Now, at this point, some of you are scratching your heads because your saw only goes to 45 to either side of the blade. And I think that's where the misconception comes from. See, the math will work regardless, but we have limitations on our saws. So this is only going to work for you if your saw goes to 47.5 degrees on its scale. Now, some saws go all the way up to 50. You can kind of reverse the math. My saw goes 50 to each side. If I do 50 times two and subtract 180, that means that I could actually do an 80 degree corner. We bring that down to right about here somewhere. That is extremely out of square. I also know that there's some saws that will cut all the way up to 60, at least on one side. So if you reverse the math, 60 times two minus 180, that means those saws could go all the way to a 60 degree angle. And I'm telling you right now, if you find a corner in your house that's supposed to be a right angle and it's this far out of square, you need a new home.